Hey, what's going on? Today we are going to take this foam and I'm going to make some more scenery for my uh, Tatooine setup. So uh, I think the first step is we're going to get a coat of paint on these and go from there. Okay, so I've hit uh, this with a bit of uh, like a kind of a brownie spray paint. And uh, spray paint and foam don't usually get along, but uh, I also dusted it with black spray paint. So I've made, if you put a little extra paint on, if you're careful, you can actually make some pretty cool like blast mark effects. And I kind of did that around the edge to make stuff look a little more weather worn. So now I'm gonna uh, get into those bins of uh, just random bits and bobs that I've got and I'm gonna start gluing uh, doors and uh, other things onto these. So I'm going to start with these parts and uh, I just keep everything like this thing here. This is just a cover off the back of a la old laptop that I ripped apart. Same with this panel. This is like a hanger for kids clothes. I can cut that up. That's off some cheap, I don't know, some place at. That's off an old fire truck. So I'm going to start sticking these on and then uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, so I've made some progress. I used, uh, to make this conduit, it was just leftover pieces from, uh, like, model kits. Yeah, like these parts. So that's what I used to make the conduit. I glued a bunch of other stuff on there. I'm going to do some weathering on the conduit. That'll be next. But I made some door frames. That's just going to be a filler piece. I'll just put some uh, posters and stuff on it. But I got this door frame, and that's uh, just a printed door. So yeah, I'm using up all my parts. Well, not all of them. I keep absolutely everything. I tear things apart. Anything that uh, I think might be able to be used for stuff on buildings. The limits your imagination. You just got to figure out what you're going to use it for. So I'm probably going to paint that in. And then I got this idea on... Uh, a oh, fat back station on Instagram. So I built a frame for these signs and I'm going to try and uh, backlight them. Might make them look a little cooler. So the next step, I'm going to take this silver paint. I'm going to paint some of the door frames and then go from there. And then I will show you some uh, dry, bu dry brushing and uh, weathering techniques. I've got my uh, door door frames painted silver. So now I'm just going to try and show you. It might be hard to do here with uh, holding the camera. So I've got my door frames painted. So now I'm just going to show you. I'm going to try to anyway. Uh, it might be hard holding the camera. So I'm going to get a bit of silver paint here. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of most of that paint kind of do like a dry brush and so on something like this you just want to like hit the edges just a bit and then you can kind of drag the brush over and it kind of gives you that weathered look and you can do that on everything so I'm going to do that with the silver first kind of give everything that bit of a worn edge so I can go over this too. Kind of just makes it look like there's a bit of wear on it, right? A little bit more on this grate here. Oh, so yeah, and you can just yeah, like I said, just hit, just hit the edges of stuff. Kind of gives it that bit of a scratchy sort of weathered look. This is really hard to do holding the camera. I guess I should have put it on something, but. So yeah, I'm gonna do that all around here. And then I'm gonna put on a bunch of uh, like posters and signs. The reason I like to do that first is because uh, after they're up, I like to do another dry brush with some black, make it look a bit dirty and stuff. So I'm gonna do a bunch of this stuff here and then we'll see where we're at. So another idea I got was off Instagram. It was Fatback Station. And he had a bunch of, 
he was backlighting his sign, so I decided I would too, and it looks pretty cool. I'll probably do a bunch more of these. Should make it look pretty cool. Okay, so I got most of my stuff on, and yeah, so I got my little signs, my posters. The reason I do that first is now I'm going to take a bit of black paint here. Same thing, you want kind of a dry brush. And then, yeah, just kind of try and hit, hit the edges and drag it across. And it kind of makes it look like it's dirty and you probably want to hit like your edges here. Just kind of makes it look a little more worn. I decided to paint that all silver. I can do the same thing here. Just kind of hit the edges, drag it across. So I'm gonna do a bunch of weathering. And then that should be just about it for this. But I will show you the end results. Okay, so I've done a bunch of the weathering here. Got some blaster marks. And really, you're just trying to catch the edges where you figure like kind of dirt and grime would gather like in the cracks above doors, any of the seams. I hope to have these up. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the setup and I hope either, hope to have up a video later tonight of the whole setup again. So I'm gonna add more of those backlit signs, kind of set this stuff up. So thanks for checking it out and I will catch you later.